Changes are on the way for voters in Newport News. Tonight, City Council will vote on a new redistricting map. The city is redrawing the lines for its City Council and School Board districts. Dana Smith has a look at the proposed maps. Newport News City leaders are redrawing the City Council and School Board districts. We're not doing this because we have nothing else to do. This is the law. Redistricting is required every 10 years, and it means changes are coming for some residents in Newport News. Some of them would be represented by a different council member, and they would also have to go to a different district in voting. Mayor Dr. McKinley Price said redistricting the city is all about balance. City populations tend to shift as the years go by. Some districts grew and some did not. Dr. Price said city leaders are trying to keep each district at about 62,000 people. There are three different options on the table. The first option moves Oyster Point and Jenkins to the Central District, while Knollwood Meadows and Sanford head to the North District. Warwick and Hilton head to the South. The second option is a little different, with Deer Park in the South and River in the Central. The third option, while also similar, adds Saunders to the central, Hilton to the south, and Bland to the north. And we now have to decide which of those three we're going to choose. Newport News resident Velvet Smith said she doesn't think much should change. No, I don't think we need any big changes. We're getting a lot of people like in the east end and the southeast of district, they're getting out here voting. So I think it should stay the same. Dr. Price said nothing is etched in stone. Before tonight's vote, they can continue to tweak the map. In Newport News, Dana Smith, 13 News Now.